Assalamu alaikum my dear students. Hello, how are you all? Hope you are doing fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIFS school again. This is Zaiful Islam, Assistant Teacher of English, National Adelaide English Version School, Morning Shift. Today I am going to take an English literature class for class 3 students. Our today's topic, rearranging. So, let's see. Today's class 3, subject English literature. Topic Rearrange, Charm Manual, Lecture 10, SW9, Teacher Eiffel Islam. This is my mobile number and this is my messenger ID. So, my dear students, let's start the class. Do you know uh, what rearranges, uh, rearranging is? Suppose I'm writing a letter. Sentence Bangladesh like I. So, this is a sentence. The sentence is Bangladesh like I. So, this is not a complete sentence. This is not a sentence that expresses the full meaning and jumble words. There are jumble words in the sentence. If I make a correct sentence, what we will write first object side subject then verb I like Bangladesh so this is called rearranging you have to rearrange the words with a complete meaning complete sense so let's come class 3 English literature is a topic rearranging rearrange the following words into correct sentences you have to make a correct sentences okay so first one what is this girls laughing are the this is a simple sentence or you can say it assertive sentence so in terms of assertive sentence if assertive sentence comes we have to give take the subject first subject is the girls you know the first sentence of a letter always will be in capital letter so t will be in capital the then the girls this is the subject the girls then we will put the verb the girls are and then last one last word laughing the girls are laughing okay the girls are laughing number b village he is small in lives are so this is assertive sentence we have to take subject first he is the subject so he is will be capital he then main verb lives he lives the preposition in a small village he lives in a small village at the end we have to give the full stop so he lives in a small village number c national what bangladesh is the flower of note of interrogation by question marks so if a question mark is present at the end of a sentence we have to take the auxiliary verb first and if w is word come we have to take the w is word first so w will be capital what then auxiliary verb auxiliary verb is is what is the flower national or national flower national flower what is the national flower of Bangladesh okay so what is the national flower of Bangladesh at the last we have to give you know D E S S question mark okay what is the national flower of Bangladesh question mark Number D, born where was he? So W is what come, we have to take W is word first, where, the auxiliary verb was he born. And then la the last, we have to give question mark. Number E, the is very weather cold. So you have to take the subject first. The weather is a subject the weather then verb is 
then very the weather is very cold okay number f him i reading saw so here subject is i then verb saw then object will come i saw him reading reading is present part is participle here you will know when you grow older number so i saw him reading z through a was man a passing forest so here subject is a man a man verb is was a man was passing past continuous tense through r o u g h a man was passing through a forest full stop assertive sentence full stop so a man was passing through a forest number a is there how weak days many are in a question mark so again double is word come how how much how many after how much how many we will take the noun so how many how many then the noun come how many days then auxiliary verb how much how many then we will put a noun and then auxiliary verb so how many days are there in a week as it is interrogative sentence we have to give the question mark okay how many days are there in a week number i how you many did pens buy so we will take the double is word first how many then pens now did you buy you have to give question mark at the end of the sentence so how many pens did you buy catching fisherman thou is fish there will be a comma so the subject is the fisherman f i s s e r m a n the fisherman then verb will come is what he is doing is catching fish the fisherman is catching fish number k on ice water floats so it will be ice floats ice floats on water if you say water floats on ice this is incorrect wrong sentence water cannot be float so ice floats on water correct sentence and full stop number l they eat lovely eat is a so subject is eat verb is is a adjective lovely it is a lovely day full stop it is a lovely day full stop at the end of assertive sentence you have to of course you must give a full stop there can i go how question mark so the first double is word double is word how though uh, before the word how the first letter is not double s but how is also double is word so how auxiliary verb how can i how can how can i go there at the last interrogative sentence question mark number n chatogram tekna far how from is question mark so w is word first how far how far is tekna from chatogram chatogram at the end of the sentence you have to give a question mark so how far is taken from chatogram number o the spring in kaku sings the kaku c will be capital kaku sings in the springs 
is will be capital S ma no problem. The kaku sings in the spring. So I finished my lecture. Let's read for the last time. Rearrange the following words into correct sentences. Number A, girls laughing are they? Answer will be the girls are laughing. Number B, village he is small in lives a. He lives in a small village. Number C, national what? Bangladesh is the flower of. What is the national flower of Bangladesh? Question mark, okay? Number D, uh, born where was he? So where was he born? Number E, the is very weather cold. The weather is very cold. Number F, him I reading saw. I saw him reading. Number D, through a uh, was man a uh, passing forest. So answer will be a man was passing through a forest. Full stop. Number A, is, there how weak days many are in a uh, question mark. Answer, how many days are there in a week? Question mark. Number I, how you many did pens buy? Question mark. How many pens did you buy? Question mark. J number. Number J, catching fisherman the is fish. Answer, the fisherman is catching fish. Number K, one ice water floats. Answer will be ice floats one water. Number L, day eat lovely is a, it is a lovely day. Number M, there can I go, how, question mark, how can I go there, answer, question mark. Number N, Chattogram, Tekna, far, how, from, is, question mark, answer, how far is Tekna from Chattogram, question mark. Number O, the spring in Kaku sings, Kaku sing, sings in the spring, Kaku sings in the spring. So that's today's my lecture. lecture. So homework will be nine, submit on Sunday, rearrange from number A to O. Your homework nine, submit on Sunday, rearranging A from A to O. So that's all my class today, my dear students. Do your assign SW at home and submit on Sunday with an ATM to four pen in the school library. You will also collect those copies on Sunday with an ATM to four pen in the school library. You know your SW is very important because we are giving SBCT and diary mark on the basis of the submission of SW copies. And we are giving 2.5 mark each of your SW copies. That's all for today. Keep practicing at home. About your parents. Stay safe. Stay well. See you again. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamualaikum.